Our next speaker's name is Genevieve, and she is the future. Her and her family is a huge part of the movement here in Asuyus. They are constantly going out and doing things without even being asked. They're, they're in their teens for the most part. They're young, eager, vibrant young people. They are our future. This is why I'm here, and they are our future. So every opportunity I or we get to promote these people in becoming self-reliant and becoming self-empowered, we really want to push that and we want to give them the opportunity. So without further ado, this is Genevieve, and she is just magic. Hello everyone. I am here on behalf of those committed to protecting faith, family, and freedom. I am excited to promote a program that is being offered through Action for Canada. They are a grassroots movement whose goal is to unite our voices in opposition to the destructive policies that are tearing our nations apart. They aim to equip citizens who take action and right now they want to help engage the youth. We are living in a time when all our fundamental freedoms are being challenged. So more than ever we are called to be a voice, a light and a strength. The current situation is accelerating our call to leadership, both as adults and as youth. Dr. Greg Gary is a very inspirational man who sees this important issue and developed a course on youth leadership and public speaking. I attended a presentation about it last week on an Empower Hour, and I'm really looking forward to taking it. And I want to encourage all my peers to take it as well. This course is being offered on a donation basis. Usually it is $675. It's an online course for 12 to 19 year olds starting April 1st to May 20th for eight Fridays. If you would like to invest in the youth, we have a donation box to help cover the cost of this important program. We have pamphlets for the program at the Action for Canada table. Please take some and encourage your children and grandchildren to join. Thank you for your support. The table's just over there for Action for Canada. Okay, this is grassroots at its best right here. Thank you so much, Genevieve. Um, once again, just uh, that's the future right there. So, thank you. Um, before we had Sean come up here, there was a couple of uh, truckers that were going to come up and say something. Um, I believe their name was Justin and Jason, or does anybody know anything about that? Jeremy. Jer Jeremy and Jeremy. Jeremy, are you out there? Jeremy and Jeremy. Jeremy and Jeremy, the two J's. Beautiful day. The energy's good today. The energy's high. The energy's nice. Yeah. The live band helps out with that too. Okay, so we've got uh, we got them. Here we go. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, what? Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming here. It's beautiful. We got the sun no rain today. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, we're great to be in the soils. Thanks for having us. Woo! That's nice rally. Uh, thank you so much from the all all the members from Great Canadian Cruise. We appreciate uh, our tour in the uh, Okanagan Valley was awesome. The road is perfect. Uh, it's over zero degrees, so we appreciate. After one hour, it was minus twenty, minus thirty, so that was a pain in the ass. <laughs> all right. Go. Uh, what do we want to know? Okay, uh, what about Great Canadian Cruise? Why we formed that group? Uh, okay, that was just after Ottawa. We're, uh, we're thinking about the uh, the aftermath, the after Ottawa. And we, uh, we managed to do the Great Canadian Cruise with a bunch of people. The main goal is to bring uh, Quebecers uh, with Albertans, with BC, 
and to bring all Canadians together. Uh, yeah, they spent they spent two years dividing us, two years dividing our families. So now, why we can be united for once? We are all Canadians, no matter about the language, no matter no matter about the color of skin. We are all Canadians and proud to be. What? I'm Ukrainian. These are the best movies I've ever had. Your problem. <laughs> all right. Okay. Talk to them about the uh, the rest of the uh, the journey. What we gonna? Uh, what is what is the main goal? Why? Well, like Terrence said uh, earlier, and I love the war paint on Terrence's face right now. That is beautiful. Yeah! Woo! Um, we're cruising across Canada, going to all small towns to uh, give awareness of what's going on. Just because the mandates have been lifted, or some of them have been lifted, we're nowhere close to freedom. Um, so we're hitting every town we can. We're trying to gather everyone we can and every every willing and able body that wants to go back to Ottawa with us. We're encouraging them that they come with us. We need everybody. You know, the fight is not finished. Uh, yes, people, they, they came the end of the mandates are here, but it's done. We still have segregation at school for the kids. It's horrible. Uh, they are playing with us, like we play with, with toys. I don't know. It's not normal. You can't do that with kids. You can do that with the elderly also. And now all the pension for the veterans, the vets? No, I'm not into that. I don't think you either are not into that. But thank you so much. Thank you for the support. We appreciate. We're not gonna let the fight down. We're never gonna back up. No, we're hold gonna the hold the line. We're hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Oh, Trudeau can come in my Ford any day. Might just take him to the train station. Who's that? The band. Freedom! All right, guys, that was uh, part two, maybe part three of March 26th at the Soyuz Orville border. Um, it's the typical Okanagan Freedom Convoy that goes from the north near Vernon all the way down to Soyuz, where we are right now at the barbed wire fence. And uh, of course, the great Canadian crews joined us as well this weekend, which is awesome. So I am Marcel Ernie with Ernie Racing Ernie Something. Yeah. Whatever is not removed as a platform, so make sure you get on the Rumble. I'm on the Odyssey. Just look Ernie Racing everywhere. You'll find it. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see what happens next. Thanks. Bye. To change the society that we want to live in, and uh, lots to be done there. So please come out, bring your ideas. Um, and let's see where we can share resources and share information. By now, most everyone has probably seen the videos circulating on social media where Klaus Schwab of the World Economic Forum proudly refers to Justin Trudeau as being a graduate of the Young Global Leaders Program. Schwab also refers to how they have penetrated the cabinets of governments. When the BC South Okanagan Similkameen of Action for Canada believes that if they can have a young leaders program, so can we. It's critical that we all learn to speak out against the words they are using against us. The words they use as weapons include social justice, systemic racism, inequality, and so on. They also use tactics to scare us with phrases like climate change, the future of food, 
and vaccination, pandemic preparedness, and so on.